Hello, uh, this is Paul from RunQuiz and today RunQuiz Daily is an overview of RunQuiz for EBN users. EBN uh, stands for Easy Block Networks and if you're not familiar, uh, it is a, um, what as it says, solution for uh, agencies and SEO professionals, specifically designed for PBN owners. Um, if you're looking to deploy your web pro WordPress-based uh, PBN across hundreds of servers, uh, EasyBlock Networks has a great reputation, widely used, and uh, today I'll show how those two services, uh, I mean EBN and RunQuiz, can be used together. The video is not intended to be a complete uh, in-deep uh, training for every specific function I will cover. It's rather an overview and high-level high, high, uh, high level view of uh, what uh, EBN users can, how can EBN users benefit from integrating uh, the blocks with uh, RunQ. So number one, it will be organized blocks. In well, this is the most uh, kind of logical solution. Uh, pretty much every every system would organize them in uh, uh, in networks, but it's worth mentioning so that RunQuiz has a, a project um, on a top level, and inside it uh, has uh, multiple networks of different type. You can create different type of networks. In one of them will be PBN. You can also create Web2 network, bookmarking, social, and SEO properties network and place all of your uh, different uh, properties and appropriate networks and uh, chain them, link them together. Number two, monitor authority. You can monitor authority metrics per individual blocks or and the uh, aggregated stats per for the uh, for the network in total. So I go to the private block network and right in the dashboard you can see that I have uh, 248 uh, blocks and they are uh, located on 264 um, unique IPs. Uh, you can see the number of unique C blocks, unique A blocks. You can see how many index pages uh, all together in the network. Uh, you can see the uh, location map for uh, overall how they located. If you roll over, you can see where the specific block is located. Well, the more blocks, it's harder to see the overall distribution, but it should give you a sense how how distributed your servers uh, worldwide. When you go to when you go to specific blocks. You will see more information like generic metrics. Uh, well, this is all all outdated uh, page rank. So Alexa, uh, social uh, network uh, likes and Twitters and uh, Google Plus. So you have uh, Hrefs metrics, Moz metrics, Majestic metrics, SEMrush metrics. So basically, all brought together under uh, one dashboard that will give you overview of your um, the the health and status of your uh, network and, and, and overall on the block and specific. Number three, you can see the expiration date and when it's uh, close to expiring, you will see the warning. In the block list, you can see that there are, uh, there is an expiry date column and when it's close to be expired, you can see that the message either expiring soon or uh, expired. So that will give you uh, if you manage to uh, many uh, many blocks, it will give you nice uh, view of the blocks that are about to expire. Also, right from the home page, since blocks can be in multiple networks, right from the dashboard on the home page, you can see a link to all of your PBN blocks along with the other type of accounts. But you can also see the highlight for the uh, expiring domains. Number four is uh, check indexing, and you'll see the, the indexing warning. In the block list, uh, you can see the number of index pages in the block. If you roll over the number, you'll see the, uh, the stats over time, how the indexing was changing. So where you can see that every time the number is changed, so we check it every uh, every five days, but once the number has changed, so you can see the um, the value. It's also true for any other metrics. Let's say if I roll over the um, page authority, you can see how it was changing over time or number of backlinks. 
if system saw uh, the domain being indexed and after that it become the 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 the, the index you can see the the indexed warning so that you might act on so remove your link remove your uh, blog network from the uh, from because from the uh, network and might be the wild links um, because of course uh, links from the index domains will hurt uh, your clients or your own sites number four aggregated SEO profile you can see links anchors and metrics go to the blog uh, SEO profile And you have more detailed view of the uh, uh, all different metrics we retrieve from third-party sites. You can see the number of backlinks, the distribution of uh, links, and the uh, backlink types. And very important, uh, the anchor distribution and the most popular anchors on the top. So all to give you an idea of uh, how many uh, the, the the health and state of your. Um, PBN domain. If you see the metrics of your PBN domain dropping, most likely backlinks are dropping, and you can see it from the um, uh, from from the screen. So you can also see the SEO analysis if you're looking to improve uh, quality of your the the uh, the metrics of your stats of your um, uh, blog. You can see the page speed uh, suggestions and on-page factors. Number six, monitor ranking. Rankwiz Im implements so called bulk rank tracker. So you enable rank tracker on the project level and it works for all to uh, monitor uh, ranking for all the properties in your, uh, in your project. You can see that in the project level, I can see ranking for everything in this specific project. This is the rank tracker for the, uh, for the project, all properties. So if you go down to the network specifically, let's say this is a PBN network, and switch over rank tracker, you'll see how the specific network to the the performing for the um, for the keywords you're tracking. And if you ask why would you do rank tracking for the for your PBN, it is. Uh, I firmly believe that this is the on, only single indication of the authority from what we can get from Google. So when you get domain with the uh, existing uh, backlinks, that's great. When you post good content to get it indexed, that's great. But if you want to make sure that your PBN is relevant to the niche you will be using it for, let's say the, you do chiropractor, so you need to make sure that uh, PBN is ranking for uh, at least long tail keywords in the specific niche. Once you see them ranking, you might be safe. Google believes that it is uh, it is an authority in the specific niche. If you don't see any single keyword ranking, but page is still indexed, um, that's not bad, but it's not idle. So what the, the reason why we do rank tracking is not to see every specific uh, block, how they perform, but overall to see that network is healthy for the specific niche you are working with. And following number seven, backlink ranking pages. So can we act on the data we collect for ranking? Yes, we go to the network uh, automation section and uh, we create new automation in case we select as SERP backlinking. So essentially once you have, once system sees any page ranking for these keywords you're tracking, it will automatically send the backlink from the low tier from Web2 or any other network you're using to using uh, the relevant content and the specific anchor. So that proven to improve ranking when you uh, when you backlink and using the same keyword. Um, you can't really do it manual, let's say if you have 50 or 100 uh, blogs in the network and uh, RunQuiz bulk tracker uh, monitor ranks up to the 500 position specifically for the same reason. So uh, many would say that I don't need to know if it's below the 100 position, but if you believe that appearance in the uh, 
search results is an indication and authority than you do. So once you have uh, set the um, page ranking at least down to the to the indexing so it means in some way of indication that google believes that it is uh, an authority if i go back to the uh, to the ranking and let's say this uh, specific keyword um is there's four properties ranking three four properties ranking for this specific keyword you can see them like within the first hundred jumping back and forth uh, you also can use the ranking pages. Well, it's it's an advanced technique, so and we don't have automation this, but you know that if you want to promote uh, your um, client site for the specific keyword, the, you better place links for from the pages that's already ranking for this keyword. Number eight, post relevant content. Runquiz has a content meal built-in content server and uh, it support multiple ways of generation content so we work with automated content although we have an option to upload your own articles if you wish so we have integration with article builder content machines we have spinners we have um, uh, translation but the most advanced uh, content type is uh, what we call mixed content, where we mix different data sources. And let's say if I look at the Richmond Hill Chiropractor, so it builds using different topics, not the mashup keywords, but topics. And you can see that chiropractor is a topic and massage therapy is a topic. If I go to settings, you'll see the content configuration. So we call them content blocks and they are uh, of different type. You can see syndicated uh, content, news content, video content, uh, and you can uh, create your blocks. You can decide how long you need to be content. And when system creates articles, again, rather than creating them on mashup, it creates uh, articles specifically on the, on the topic. So if you have multiple topics, let's say you have naturopathy, and acupuncture so that we make sure that article will not be mash up of those keywords but this is a naturopathy in Richmond Hill article so there's a content there's a news there is a, um, a video for location and this is how content meal is configured and you can see at the bottom the topic is naturopathy Richmond Hill Ontario and acupuncture sometimes topic are closed but sometimes a different. This is acupuncture article, and it's created on a different topic. Again, there is a location video, and uh, you have complete control of how to create content and how to make it extremely relevant to uh, for your needs for your people. Number nine: use advanced link profiles, anchors, uh, authority links, and etc. So um, we go to a link profile. So while the most systems still uh, ask to uh, for the uh, bunch of URLs in anchors to post. Uh, Runquiz has built in very uh, sophisticated uh, link profile mechanism where you can uh, decide the distribution between primary keywords, secondary keywords. You can say sliders. Let's say it's primary keywords, secondary keywords. You can enable generic keywords. You can do uh, page titles. You can do naked URLs. So this is all responsible for distribution of anchors. Uh, there are also a, a option to use prefixes, suffixes. Let's say in this case, there are prefixes 50% for the to learn more about, to read, uh, to read about. And the first half is about anchors. The second is about URLs. You can see that we have URLs we have authority urls let's say 50 percent will be authority urls you can scrape it on the topic or using custom let's say home business so you can uh, use rss feeds you can interlink it with another run quiz network so once you set up your distribution you can preview your links and you apply different templates this is would be a plain link template that will be a resource box plain link template. So to learn more about home business. And you can control placement. 
you can see the banner I don't know if those images are broken the uh, very uh, very popular uh, read about more that can be placed on the bottom of the page about author again so it's so all the image, uh, images are broken but um, so this is this is the link profile and this gives you ultimate control of how you want to kind of format your link uh, number 10 build backlinks relevant content and anchor distributions uh, once you have everything set up, uh, Brown Quiz has a notion of uh, uh, submissions or campaigns and uh, you create, when you go your network, you can, you have, uh, you can create a, a submission. With the uh, variety of options, how to post your content and links across your network. So you might just select what uh, content bucket from the content meal to post, how you post it, run them all in a group, sequential, how many times per post, uh, whether you want them to be spread um, over time. If you want to repeat this cycle continuously, if you do repeat it so you can stop it after a number of posts or a specific date. Um, so you can use simple links or utilize link profile as I showed you. So you can see you select link profile, template and placement. There is a um, probability of placing links in so you can add more than one link profile. So you can have uh, automatically interlinking and silo builder uh, and other option is do not place link if block has more less than 10 posts. So it's just a lot of a lot of configuration and of course you can build multi-tier backlink and one one uh, link is created you can send it down to let's say web2 network for the further backlink number 11 pbn rss monitor so monitoring backlink new posts um it's uh when you're working with your pbn when your pbn is live and you have more posts are going in and let's say if it's this inside 50 or 100 sites it's really hard to always copy and paste your urls added to the to your pbn so instead you can enable um, pbn rss monitor like the, the, no matter how big the, your network you go to settings and you have enable uh, PBN RSS monitor and you specify where you want to book, uh, book uh, backlink all of the um, all of the new posts discovered system will be checking RSS feeds for all blogs in the network and as soon as it sees a new post it will follow the configuration rules and it will send them to the to the down uh, down tier for automatic backlinking very powerful very simple setup once you do it it works continuously every day deep crawling so you can enable deep crawling and um, see uh, uh, let run quiz to crawl your pbn to see pages errors uh, to check whether pages are indexed and again go to the to the specific blog, blog dashboard and click on pages and you can see that uh, we have crawled um, what it is 165 pages, and there are 35 uh, crawling uh, errors. If I go to the page with the error, you can see page details, and here's the page error. So you can filter out all pages. Of course, you don't want. Uh, your PBN, especially if you're renting it out, if you're just building links, you don't want to have uh, too many broken links on your PBN. So this is the way for you to see um, to see if there are problems in your PBN and, and fix it. So you also will add an option to search within your content since we crawled it and uh, ability to find all posts in your PBN with the links going to a specific site. So let's say if you drop in the client, you can remove all, all the work you did for, for the client. 
number 14 download good backlinks so again from the uh, from the blog uh, dashboard you go to the backlinks and you can see the option to load backlinks only matching following criteria so by default we have option to download do follow backlinks only uh, and uh, specify minimum site flow uh, citation and trust flow so what it gives you you don't need to download all backlinks for your uh, for your PBN so uh, you need good backlinks to start backlinking your backlinks this is most unutilized strategy to give the boost to your PBN um, if you download all backlinks it's nice to see them but uh, you don't want to backlink bad quality links that uh, P you inherit with the expired domain or whatever you get domain for your PBN once you enable the minimal criteria you load the um, links and then you go to a uh, network level in the settings level and set up automation backlink backlink and a little bit worry but that exactly what it means it means that once you create an automation system will let the, no matter how many blocks you have you have let's say 50 or 100 and each has 10 20 50 good backlinks you might say that i want to backlink automatically backlinks of my pbn run them five per block or total and where to send backlinks on the uh, down tier uh, uh, web to or social and uh, a letter like how often to run so you have an option how to use anchor naked url url plus title or you can have advanced settings for using link profile again placement and you can run it every day or like actually you have an option to how many how often you run it so once you set it up so you automatically backlink, uh, backlink backlinks of your PBN um, um, with uh, no, like once you set it up, there, you don't need any extra effort. And number 16 that I almost forgot, you can enable traffic and search simulation. So you, um, it's very simple implementation, but very powerful. When you go to network settings, you enable traffic simulation, search simulation, and once you start making posts, especially multi-tier posts on your PBN, for the first uh, four days after post is made, so we send our bots and they are legit, so they record it in the Google Analytics. They go through the lower tier up to the upper tier on your PBN, simulating the traffic, showing the Google that you, uh, you see the uh, traffic on your PBN. The question can uh, will uh, will uh, Google see the traffic if I don't see Google Analytics installed? No, it will not. But most Web two blogs do have Google Analytics installed, and the new algorithm Rank uh, Brain uh, Rank Brain is uh, exact all about user interaction. So and it's collect and they collecting this information from anywhere, uh, for including Google Analytics and other stats. Um, so on the side track, would I advise you to install Google Analytics on your PBN? Yes, I will. So you don't need to install uh, the same account to all, but I would just strongly advise to install PBN Analytics on all of your PBN. And search simulation works if you have rank tracking. As soon as you have system detects, the, there are some pages ranking for the uh, for the specific keywords it will be sending them daily to search simulation system will search them in google will uh, find the page navigate to the page and we implement uh both to stay on the page click out uh, to um random links until they leaves the uh the main goes out to the to the next site and now we go we go through all 16 um 16 uh, the features that you can utilize the feature points of benefits you can utilize while using run quiz along with your uh, easy block network account mm -hmm. i will show you how you add easy block networks accounts uh, blogs in uh, run quiz first of all you need to integrate or you need to enter your username uh, the email and api you'll find it in your easy block network account once you do you go to tools 
click on integration so when you scroll down this is where we have all integration account captcha article builders we have spin services and indexing services once you go down you'll see the sideways and way below there there is email and api key for easy block network so once you enter your username uh the email and api key you go to the uh to the network where you want to add import your uh, easy block network blogs uh, let's say you go to the blogs tab and since i enter ebn credentials you now see new button uh, easy block network so i click on the uh on the button and you can see uh the blocks from my account um so i select the block you can uh, uh import one or multiple blocks and click so now you can see that i have uh one wordpress uh, one um, well, it's still WordPress, but we uh, dist uh, we separate and so we distinguish the recognize it as a easy block network blog, and you can see this sign. Um, it's kind of modified logo of easy block network, and you have an option now to auto log into the blog, which is great. So once you click this, you will be taken to admin panel without the need to log in uh, to the blog. So if I click it. You can see that I bypass um, uh, your login screen. It's pretty safe. It's implemented. It's a great feature of Easy Block Network. So it gives a temporary URL and it cannot be bookmarked. It, uh, it's, uh, it works only every time if we request this temporary login URL. So um, once uh, now I can uh, see the all metrics of the of the added domain i can start posting i can enable backlinking see uh, seo profile can see ranking and so on and so on everything that i i, I just outlined you can start benefit uh, by integrating your is a block network um, with uh, rank quiz accounts that's all i try to make it short but uh, thank you for watching and thank you for the interest for uh, user looking forward for working together and um, have a great day.